And the Freefort football team hit some rough patches last season, falling to a losing record, but are back on the field for spring practice in hopes to turn it all around in the fall. Freeport started off the season on a three game win streak, but then faced some lows going on a four game losing streak, falling to four and seven on the season with a first round playoff exit. This spring, the Bulldogs are hitting the practice field, focusing on conditioning and preparation for next season. It's a long ride. It's a, it's a very hard and, and thought out process, so you know, we can't get too high on them, can't get too low on them. We just got to keep pushing them every day. One of the biggest issues for Freeport is numbers, facing the troubles any 1A school faces. We have like five guys out here right now that's never played football. Uh, I believe we have like 37 coming up from the eighth grade. Uh, so our program is really heading in the right direction in numbers. Uh, you know, come out and give it a shot. If it's not for you, you know, we'll all still be friends in the end. But, you know, you don't want to get to the end of high, your high school career and never have given football a shot. After graduating 12 seniors, the Bulldogs are looking to replace two key players on both sides of the ball. On the defense, tracker Thomason, who notched over 400 total tackles in his three seasons and at one point in his senior year led his classification in tackles. So replacing those two is going to be a very tall task for us. And uh, we have 37 guys out right now. It's a really good number for us in the spring. So we're excited about that and everyone's working hard and we're, and we're confident that we're going to be able to replace those guys. Another key senior the Bulldogs graduated is quarterback Ashton Noons. As a three year starter, the QB passed for 467 yards and 69 touchdowns. Now four guys are fighting for the QB1 position. Um, we're going to just take it one day at a time with those guys, try to split up the reps as equal as possible and give everybody a fair and balanced shot. Coach Arntz says depth is always an issue for the Bulldogs, but it's been great seeing athletes come out and try the sport in the offseason. It, it's so much fun watching a guy from year to year develop, you know, and then when you get to their senior year and, you know, you can look back at a, at a game film or even a picture and say, man, look how far we've come. So it, that, that is a bright spot to this whole game. Freeport will play in a spring jamboree at Graceville against the Tigers in Franklin County on Wednesday, May 24th.